Life is good. Yeah. Have fun. Eat. Drink. Laugh. Get married. Or don't. Have kids. Or don't. Buy a house. Buy a car. Feels good. Yeah. Still more? Yeah. More money? Yes. More kids? <laughs> no. Bigger house? Yes. Bigger car? Yeah. Years pass by. Wow, yeah. Now you're old. Yes. Did you pray? No. Did you fast? No. Did you feed the poor? No. Did you visit the sick? No. Did you even give charity? No. So you know where you're headed? Yes. I think you get the point. All I want to say is, when we're young, we take everything for granted. If you don't lay a foundation, it'd be much harder for you to lay it down later on. Life is beautiful, you know. You can take from it as much as you want, but also with boundaries. All I want to say, my brothers and sisters, don't wait too long to stop praying, stop fasting. We all fast, yes, but if we fast and we don't pray, we all know that doesn't count. You cannot worship Allah without obeying your parents. Your worship would not be accepted. You cannot obey Allah and not obey the Prophet. SubhanAllah, it has to be hand in hand. And you cannot be given all this and not be thankful. We should be thankful. And we are. We need to remind ourselves constantly that we that we need to get back in track. And if we don't get back in track, we'll get lost. And if we get lost, then our hereafter is ruined. If you're a believer, and you believe in heaven and a hell. But the most important thing, you believe in the Creator. You believe in God. Allah is not a man. Allah is the Creator. And the Creator can create whatever He wants. And He does not exist in His creation. Nobody knows you better than the one that created you. And His guidance for you is the best. Throughout centuries, He sends us messengers, prophets, to guide all of us to the straight path. But every prophet that came down with the message, came with one message. La ilaha illallah. There's no gods, but one God. And all these messengers came down to guide us. Most of them came down with holy books from the Torah, the Bible. And the last one is the Quran. And the Quran is for everybody. It's a guidance from Allah. Now most of us Muslims, we are lucky to have parents that teach us Islam the right way. But the rest of us, we don't have parents that will teach us the right way. The fault is, maybe the parent didn't teach him the right way. But the beauty is, like I said, remind yourself constantly that Islam is beautiful. Take from this life, enjoy it, but don't wait until you get old and crippled to pray in a chair because your ankles are weak. Your worship is worth a lot when you're young and beautiful and you have your strength. Rather than getting old and weak and then when you realize you're weak, then you repent. Just Allah can forgive you for that, but it's worth it when you worship Allah when you're young. Good luck on the future, be the best you can be. But the most important thing, we have to teach ourselves Islam the right way. You can't be greedy in this life, just enjoy the rest of it. There's plenty of other people that can do our jobs if we don't do them right. Hope you learned something from this. Before I speak to you, I speak to myself. I got that from Baba Ali. Most of my videos are encouraged by his videos. So I encourage you to go check him out at umafilms.com or you go to YouTube and type Umma Films and watch Baba Ali. We need more brothers like him. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.